Assalamu alaikum friends, are you looking for budget CNC controller under $300 for your CNC lathe machine? So you have selected a right video, we are going to review CW20T controller also known as XCMCU6090. Let's get into the video. So here is our CNC controller, we see the controller like this, so here you can see xc6090 two axis cnc controller it is written in chinese cnc system of two axis multifunction lathe so it works plus 24 volt dc so xcm cu series so this is made in china uh, obviously cnc controller if we open this so we receive controller like this we take aside controller now we check db25 female connector and two pieces male db25 connector and here is the book of xcmcu controller almost this book is in chinese language so let's now let's check our cnc controller so if we see our controller so here is our controller nice and clean look controller we can get USB interface from the left side of LCD. So here is four DB25 ports, two female ports and two male ports. It is input port X24, 24 input. This hardware is uh, four axis supported, but uh, it is now two axis lathe controller. So we will get two axis from this port. So here is spindle and other inputs like MPG or uh, like uh, spindle encoder input and uh, other input and here we will get the output of coolant hydraulic chuck tail stock like this so here is the branding xcmcu series in xcmcu 6090 or cw20t has 32 bit fpga base controller it has 3.5 inch display screen this screen has 480 by 320 resolution with dot matrix lcd this CNC controller also has USB interface. We can read and write CNC program direct from CNC controller. As well as we can run the CNC program direct from USB. This CNC controller has 24 inputs and 24 outputs. These are input and outputs customizable and flexible. We can set any input and output at any pin. This CNC controller is using standard optocoupler for input pin and this CNC controller using ULN 2803 IC at outputs. If we see the appearance of this controller, so this 215 mm, we need to cut a blank to install this controller. And uh, from width, it is 125 mm, as you can see in the at screen. So let's on and check this controller. So here we had 24 volt DC supply. We plug this supply. Yes, here we can see the branding of XEMCU, this model XE6090. So here is a numeric keypad with the blue color. Here is the function keys. These are the rapid keys. Here we can see the tool turret button to exchange tool. Here is the tail stock button at zero position, Z zero position. It is the rapid control speed. Here you can see it's very small written here. Here is the different screen. When we press function switch, this is a position, program, tool of set control, parameters, info, check. When we talk about working CNC codes, so it works international standard G codes. It supports Chinese and English both languages. This CNC controller support tapping, drilling, threading and electric tool changer. It also supports VFD for spindle control. It also supports hydraulic chuck and as well as hydraulic tail stock. This controller also has a gear shift option if your machine has electric gear shift option. If you want to learn detailed explanation about parameters and the controller of this function and calibration through this function, so you can also visit our Patreon Recopicator. So from there you, can, you will get the complete information about this controller. So MPG button, MDI, homing reference, auto, x-axis offset, z-axis offset. This is a clamping button and here is coolant button, here is rotation, cross spindle. This is a manual mode, 
here we can see the input and output status of this controller this cnc controller is a little bit temperature sensitive when temperature increase up to 50 degree high this cnc controller can be worked abnormally and if temperature decreases up to minus 10 degree so lcd display can be abnormal this cnc controller should be protect from dust and metal dust and also from corrosive gases humidity level should be 85 percent for this cnc controller i am using this controller since five years and haven't seen any major undesirable behavior from this cnc controller but when i have used electric tool turn with this cnc controller it misses high speed input signal when you are not using shielded wires this cnc controller misses the input signal of z pulses while homing at high speed so that's all issues i have faced so overall this controller is a good cnc controller nice small budget controller if you want to buy this controller you can go to our whatsapp and can visit our product catalog from there you can order us this controller if you want to learn ultimate tips and tricks about this controller you can visit patreon slash recopy we have separate tier in patreon at this cnc controller if you are using this cnc controller so what is your experience about this controller let me know in the comments i read every comment of my comment section see you in the next video till then allah hafiz